I'm, I'm excited. I, I just moved here and they messed with people. They're pretty cool though. Oh man, I'd like to keep them too. Oh no, that's a red cloud. Red oh, rock crab right there. Is it? Yeah. The one with the big, but all those little tiny dungeons. <laughs> These are like quarter size. Look at that. Oh, they're cute. It's not bait you're using. This is our chicken hearts. Oh, chicken heart. Yeah, chicken heart. That's awesome. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, double hook. Double hook, yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> one hook, one hook, the tail. Yeah. That's a big size one. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. That's right there. 24. Yeah, nice. All right, guys. Good morning. We are here close to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. A beautiful foggy day. Well, typical foggy day, I should say. We're actually um, here in early morning. And we are going to go target maybe some stripers and halibut. If you're new to the channel, welcome. All right, stay tuned. Here's some guys here throwing some soft plastics, some paddle tails. All right, guys, here's our first cast. Yeah, the sculpins. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good pull. Could be a, a crab. Whatever it is, it's on there. It's playing around on with that. Just little tiny bites. They're ready to set up the set the hook. Yeah. What do you what do you put in there to condition the water? It's called the uh, Just gonna keep your bait alive. It's called G juice. Oh that one right there? Yeah. <laughs> some of these guys are lively man. Alright, some of them are alive, there's no warriors and some of them die. Yeah. And then you just buy these aerators. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, how long do they stay like that? Air Raiders? Yeah, I mean the, the fish. How long do they stay alive? Stay alive? Can they be here for I like mean, eight hours or something? Oh yeah, they, they'll definitely carry it out. Yeah. I mean, most of them do die because it's a little smaller cooler. Yeah. Today. Yeah. But when I have my big one out, all of them would have been alive. Yeah. I didn't have the extra hands. Nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. That's Check out the pro how he does it. <laughs> Oh, right there, right on the nose. You don't want to puncture the gills, right? For sure. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm not got them right Yeah. Yeah, you want to try to keep it centered. Try not to get an eyeball. Yeah. You hook him right in the nose right there? Yeah, right there at the top. I try not to bleed, get him to bleed. Yeah. Because in the end, if it just 
Yeah, you want it to be like swimming. Yeah, you want to go the most center and not try to nip a gill or something. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. That's the setup, huh? Yep, high low. High low rig. All right. You just underhand. There you go. Just like that. All right, that was kind of nice to to see how the young man, you know, Caesar, um, does his uh, setup. All right. This uh, young man here too. He puts out his crab pot or crab ring. Let's see if you got anything in here. Oh, that's a big one on the bottom. Nice. All right. Definitely going home with crabs. What do they have to be, the red rock crabs? Like four, four, four and a half? Yeah. Yeah, these taste way better, I think, right? They're sweeter. That's a nice one. Oh, shoot, man. I get all this one. Yeah, yeah, but they they take the the claws, right? Yeah, and they come back. With them. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, he had something on. What do you think it is, Caesar? Halibut? Oh, stingray. Oh, yeah. All right. This guy, he's got his crabs. Oh, hold on, bro. Let me grab this. Got a halibut? Yes, sir. Oh, that's a keeper halibut, baby. Oh, yeah. He does this all the time, right here. He's, this is the style right here. Just gotta get it in the crab ring. He's got it. 97% of the time. Here, give me your uh, pole real quick. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to lay this down right here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Nice, bro. And they have to be 22 inches? That's perfect. Yeah. Right there. Nice hook. Is that a circle hook or? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Circle octopus? Octopus circle? Yeah. I got some pliers, man, if you need it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Right here, bro. There you go, bro. That's right. <laughs> That works. That works. Yeah, he got away last weekend. Dude, that was good, man. That was awesome. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah, right there. 24. Yeah, nice. All right, Caesar just uh, caught that one. That was uh, really cool. Good job. A little uh, 24 inch halibut right 
There. Wow, yeah. nice looking piece. All right guys, it's about uh, time to go home, but it was kind of nice to meet uh, Caesar over here, right here Caesar. <laughs> he drove a long ways away, man. <laughs> it's at least uh, a couple hours away, uh, an hour and a half. Uh, hour 45. Yeah, an hour 45 minutes where he lives. But yeah, he was showing us how to, you know, set up the bait and all that stuff when, when he goes fishing. He does a little bit of crabbing at the same time. And uh, yeah, hooked up on a halibut today. You got to be happy with that, right, Caesar? Uh, the pressure's definitely off. <laughs> the pressure's off. The pressure is off. But yeah, no, thank you for um, sharing, you know, he, like he's the way he does his cooler here with the fish, you know, and the way he has uh, his setup. That's pretty cool, man. It's good to to uh, talk to fishermen. Yeah. 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 And then you've been doing this for how long now? 20 years. 20 years? Plus, but yeah. just the halibut fishing is kind of oh, new to you. halibut this summer. Just this summer, yeah. yeah. So he's already caught like about five for this season. So that's awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you, uh, Caesar. Yeah. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, hey, thank you for showing me that how to catch it. Like, you know, the halibut. Yeah. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, All right. Well, guys, that's uh, it for today. Uh, please consider subscribing and we'll see you on a future video. Service on to others is the rent you pay here on Earth. Letters.